Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Storm. And I'm Jason Strudwick. We've got a great show planned for you today at one of Greater Edmonton's golf gems, the Colonial Golf Course in Beaumont. You can stretch this 18-hole link-style championship course out to 7,000 yards to test your abilities. After the round, go check out the patio perched at the highest point of the property, offering spectacular panoramic views. Our guest today is an entertainer in the toughest sport on earth. Not only can he get the crowd going, but he has come face to face with some of the meanest animals around. We welcome in rodeo clown Crash Cooper. Well, you don't have to get up on today. Today you're a golfer, so is it Crash or is it Ash today? Uh, we'll see once I start swinging the clubs, I think. But this is a get up for me, actually. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm known by Crash and Rodeo and Ash in real life. Okay. Now, are rodeo and golf kind of normal partners? No, yeah. <laughs> unless there's some escaped animals coming on here chasing us or whatever, which... We've seen that before on a golf course. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Struts, uh, you better be careful because this guy even has a hole-in-one and that's something... Do you really? You that's right. Lack. Oh my God. I you guys haven't it. had a hole... No. You guys actually no. golf and have a golf show and you don't have a hole-in-one? No, we just get paid to golf poorly. <laughs> I've witnessed... You, you're paid to golf? Poorly. And I'm terrible and I have a hole in one. <laughs> but I feel a little bit better about I'll coming out video. today. I want to see the video. <laughs> I have witnesses. No video. <laughs> We're going to test your abilities. We're going to head out to number 10 here at Colonial and meet up with head golf professional Matthew Vincent. He's going to start us off with a tip. And now it's time for us to improve our game of golf with our pro tip brought to you by ATB. Matt, what have you got for us here? Today, Jason, we're going to be talking a little bit about ball position with a variety of different clubs in our bag. So hopefully we can get you a little bit fine-tuned, get you hitting straighter. Need that. He All does right. need yeah. it. Okay, show us the way. All right, we're going to talk about ball position. I have three different clubs here with me today. I have a pitching wedge, six iron, and a driver. Now, it's very important to notice that the pitching wedge is a lot shorter than the driver. This means that the arc of my swing is going to be a lot wider with the driver than it is the pitching wedge. So ball position is very important with each of the clubs we have. For instance, I just take my pitching wedge here. Ball should be in the center of my stance, okay? If the ball's too far ahead in my stance, when I take this nice wide arc with my pitching wedge and come up, the bottom of my swing is starting to arc out here and come up, which means I'm gonna to top the golf ball. Nice little worm burner shot, okay? The opposite can be said with my driver. If the ball's too far back in the stance of my driver, my hands are ahead of the ball in address, when I take this nice wide swing coming down, it's gonna be steep on the way down, either gonna pop it up, and most likely it's gonna go away from my body because the club face is open from my hands being ahead of the ball at impact. So ball position number one here, I'm gonna use with a pitching wedge, okay? So probably with this position, I'll be using sand wedge, pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron. Ball is in the middle of my stance, okay? As I get into the seven, six, and five iron, I'm gonna to go to ball position number two. Now it's important to note that the clubs are getting longer, so I had to make sure I step back a little bit further to compensate for the distance of the club. Ball position number three is gonna be four iron, three iron, hybrids, and fairway woods. And then last but not least, ball position number four is gonna be with the driver, right off the inside of the front foot. All right, so we'll go back to the ball position number one. Got a pitching wedge in my hand. Nice shot. No excuses. No, not today. You have a grid. Oh. It's got the legs. Oh. Ooh, a little short. <laughs> Hard a little short, into the sand. Little... Well, I'm a sissy and I don't hit it as far as these boys, so I get to go ball position number two. Wow. Get up there. Company, eh? The bunkers popped their spot this Very morning. Popular. <laughs> Is this what you call an up and down shot? <laughs> I've never understood that you guys say it's an up and down. Well, what the hell else is I it going to be? One chip, one putt. Or one shot, one putt. Oh. Just one putt. All right. <laughs> you got to get on the green for that, though. Oh, Unlike nice. me and Stud. Yeah. Okay. Good swing. That looks really good. That'll do it. Is that a little deep, maybe? Oh. Yeah, Are you bunker. kidding me? <laughs> three for three. Three bunkers. Well, at least mine went further. Oops, all right, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back and play out the rest of the first hole and we can see who can win this one on the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH.
adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services. With branches in Slave Lake, Wabaskin, Whitecourt, and Atchison, we've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. One of golf's greatest getaways is in your very own backyard, the Quarry Golf Club. Come enjoy 27 holes right along the River Valley. The brand new clubhouse can host any event up to 300 people. Tournaments, Christmas parties, business meetings, we've got you covered. Visit thequarryedmonton.com. Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the Colonial Golf Club in Beaumont with rodeo clown Ash Cooper or Crash Cooper depending on which version we have today. <laughs> yeah. I have several other aliases too but we'll stick with those two. <laughs> After the first shots uh, we're all in the sand so it's time to see who can finish out best here on the Pro-Am Golf Show. Hole number one. Let's get to it. Is that what this is? An up and now, down? now this huh? would be an up and down. Your club comes up, then goes down. Are we supposed to stop talking when she's? Oh wow! Oh, that's highly pressure. impressive. That wow. is pressure. Oh, I can get up and down from here. Wow, then. that's impressive. Okay, that's a pretty tough act to follow. Yep. But it's out. <laughs> what are you looking up there for? <laughs> well, I was like you're hoping it release a little at, bit. Looking at someone else's ball, yours is right I'll there. It. It's actually. out. You know, you were really laughing after my shots, so I'll tell you what, you better hit a good That's one That's because it was laughable. <laughs> you're on a golf show. I'm a clown. <laughs> Very aggressive. I'm closer to the hole. Yeah. Do exactly what you just did there, but the opposite. Oh, there you go. There, perfect. Stay there. Check up. Oh, you can putt that. Okay. Well, got to put a little pressure on Meg. Step here. a little bit back, I would suggest. It's all about ball position, right? That's a nice shot. Oh. I feel like you have endless stories about close calls, but maybe tell us about the closest call that you've ever had with a bull. I, I bull got me down one time and tore me up bad and I actually have a photograph which I like. It's, everybody takes their photographs like maybe in hockey or whatever they take a picture slap shot or the big goal they yeah. scored or whatever. I like the one where you're tripping and falling or something. You know, I like those. So <laughs> I got one where I'm laying on my back and a bull is on top of me and I got a hold of his front leg that's up which is useless. I'm just sure out of fear I'm holding it right. And uh, they took a picture and he had his horn stuck right in my stomach. But if the cameraman would have waited just a second longer, he took it out of my stomach and put it directly into my mouth and busted his tooth out here and cut me and tore me all up and everything. And uh, I was best man at a wedding six days later, actually. <laughs> and I was more scared of the, the groom yeah. than the bull because he was about the size of one too. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, so then I went, I thought, okay, I was, you know, several years after that, I quit. I'm going to be the funny guy now. And I have these stilts that are springy and I can jump six feet, I can jump over your head easy. Yeah. And I do backflips and all that kind of deal with these stilts. I thought it was smart to do, or entertaining I guess, to do a backflip out of a half ton at a rodeo. Which I did, but upon landing, <laughs> can't soar like an eagle if you land like a penguin I guess, but <laughs> I uh, did a backflip anyway and I ended up breaking my back out of the deal. So that's probably my worst injury is I broke my back being a bloody clown. So well, after, Sorry, I'm not Chef, that smart after all. I know you have the scars on your face from hockey yeah. and stuff, but he's tough. Oh yeah, you this is a rodeo tough. tough. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna have some more scars after today. <laughs> oh, I like this. Keeps up his cheap shot top. <laughs> all right, well, let's see how we finish up here. <laughs> Test out your short game. <laughs> I already tested my short game out. Didn't you see that last shot out of the <laughs> bunker? The last couple. That was a <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Here we go. In the hole. What hole is it? I don't know. 
There is a lot of grass there, actually. I don't want to alarm you, but there's probably more grass there than at a Willie Nelson concert. Hold up. In. Oh, ah, man, I hate to short. see a guy get that close and not finish off. Two putts for the win, boys. Yeah, this is makeable. Well, we would have made that. Oh! She did make it. Wow, impressive. Remember, Remember I did. That's impressive. That's, that's very impressive. I didn't say <laughs> that. <laughs> Thank you. All right, hole number one goes to me. We're going to play the second hole, but first, let's go meet up with Matthew Vincent one more time and talk about this wonderful golf course. Well, Matt, it's been a little bit of a weird summer. We've had a lot of sun, not a lot of rain. Today excluded, of course. Of course, yeah. But the course is looking really good. It is, yeah. We're very pleased that uh, we've been able to sustain such a great quality this year, given the fact that we've had uh, such a severe drought and you know extreme heat temperatures. So we're looking forward to a great season ahead of us. I really like this course, and it's not very far away from Edmonton. It's a short jaunt, and it's worth it, too, because you guys have some great weekday rates. Yeah, we do. We have some great competitive Monday to Thursday rates. So if anyone's looking to skip out of the office or they're on holidays, by all means, come and see us, and we'll uh, get you out there for a great round of golf. How are the tournaments looking this year? Are you pretty filled up? Yeah, we're on par for what we are usually. Uh, we don't want to overbook and, you know, we definitely need tournaments to sustain the business. So, yeah, things are looking great, but we have some great packages out there if anyone's looking to reserve their tournament with us this fall or even looking into next season. Well, thank you so much for having us out here again this year. It's a beautiful course. You're welcome, Meg. We'll be right back to play the second hole on the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabasca, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Northern Bear is Edmonton's premier golf experience. This Jack Nicklaus course is perfect for any tournament or function. Be a part of the Bear, offering a wide variety of memberships and passes. Book now at northernbeargolf.com. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're out in Beaumont, the beautiful Colonial Golf Course with one of the toughest men I know, <laughs> my man Crash. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're just hacking on me because of that horrible, weak shot that I just had. Uh, so, I just never gonna happen again. Technically, you still would have beat him on that hole, so we're just gonna <laughs> stick with that. What, what? After the first hole, I'm one up. It's time to play the second hole, and it's brought to you by Cougar Paint and Collision. We'll start it off on a par three. Oh, 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 oh. Is that gonna be enough? Get you up might there. Be in the sand Get again. up there. No. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> Cinderella story. <laughs> Kid comes out of nowhere. Former rodeo clown. About to win the pro am championship. So I'm on the green. I think. Did you see that? Oh, that. This one is not going very good. good. That is going in hole number two. A little bit right. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's in the hole. It's a little deep. Oh, it is a little deep. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to represent Canada. Which, unfortunate, that was unfortunate for Canada that I would be a representative of it. <laughs> it's probably a good thing it never did yeah. work out. But yeah. So I wanted to in hockey, right? Like everybody does, I think. Didn't do it. So then I played rugby. Played rugby for Team Saskatchewan and uh, got close to going to uh, play for Team Canada, but I would have had to move to the East, and I was a cowboy, so I didn't think that would work very good. <laughs> so I didn't, and then actually, I, uh, after that, I became the rodeo clown, and uh, I finally got my chance, because I'm the only Canadian ever to have been chosen to do the Wrangler National Finals Ooh. rodeo in Las Vegas, which is the, like, I guess we'd be winning the Stanley Cup yeah. Yeah. rodeo type of deal. So, <clears throat> didn't do it as hockey, didn't do it as in uh, rugby, 
but I got to represent Canada as a clown. <laughs> still a little disappointing, even when I say it still. What's it like for you when people ask you what you do for a living? Uh, coming from an athletic background, <laughs> it's always a little emasculating when I say I'm a clown. <laughs> I'd like to say, people say, oh, you wear makeup? No, I wear grease paint, actually, to correct you on that. So. This is a whole lot, it's makeup, isn't it? No, it's grease paint. <laughs> Begging for another chin scar, isn't he? You want to see soft hands? Oh, this is what I need right here. Using one of the first of his two clubs. Oh my God. Oh. Is that bad etiquette to laugh after? You didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm happy with that. You can live with that. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. that. Yeah. I just didn't want it stuck in the long stuff. Yeah. Plus, you've seen me putt. I can get that in. You can only get better. You can only get better. Yeah. <laughs> he's got, he's chose one of his three clubs. Oh, that one's much nicer. Skate, skate, little friend. Still a little light. All right, at least I'm dancing. What par is this? Three of them. Three pars? Mm-hmm. Which makes three shots? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and this is my what shot again? Second. Thank you. Clowns are really good at math. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it because it's probably not going to happen again. Okay, here we go. In the little hole. Oh! Ooh. This is for par? She two putted last time, didn't she? She was long on every shot except this one. It's going to be really weak. Oh. A little light. A little light on it that one. It is going to be really short. Yeah. I really need to sink this to put pressure on you. If you miss this, do I automatically win? Nope. Just because we're going over time? Because you guys take so many shots? Oh, caught right. the lip. All right, tap it in. Was this for the win if I get this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure is. Okay. <laughs> or a three putt. It could also be a three putt. It very well could be. Oh, yes. right. I, I wasn't heart. watching. Did I? Nice what? one. Oh, hey, it went yeah. in. I went in. You have to listen for it. Is that? Yeah, that's high five. Nice one. Good job, really buddy. nice. Everyone's got to win now. Yeah, <laughs> everyone. I'm a clown. I just beat the people that have a golf show. <laughs> I'm going to go get my ball. Where is it? Oh, it's in the cup. Thank you. Yeah, you, you're the only one with a hole in one. Yeah. Oh, not today yet. I mean, we got a hole yet. I got to get one today. Yeah, there's one. It's only as good as your last it. game. It's gonna be a long one to get. So we're gonna take a quick break. We'll come back and play the third and final hole on the Pro Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services. With branches in Slave Lake, Wabasca, Whitecourt, and Atchison, we've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. One of golf's greatest getaways is in your very own backyard, the Quarry Golf Club. Come enjoy 27 holes right along the River Valley. The brand new clubhouse can host any event up to 300 people. Tournaments, Christmas parties, business meetings, we've got you covered. Visit thequarryedmonton.com. Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we are at the beautiful and somewhat rainy Colonial Golf Club in Beaumont with rodeo clown Ash Cooper. Bit of a personal question for you here, Crash. Do you know that sun is free? Because based on the light color. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I sort of have the pigmentation of an x-ray, I know. But um... <laughs> Anyway, um, been taking some jabs on and off camera from Strudwack. So if you could hold that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm also a little bit of an artist too. So if you don't mind. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna draw. <laughs> this is finally a hole where I get to use my strength, the long game. 
So I'm gonna draw. You're getting my good side at least. No, I'm gonna draw that long, squishy head. Can you take a little bit off the nose? Uh, somebody's already took a little off your hair. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a good haircut these you've days. Got some strangely close eyes put her together. <laughs> my eyes are close together. Yeah, it's like when you were fresh out of the oven, somebody just I didn't know that. together. I always thought my you know, eyes were nice, well spaced. <laughs> Your eyes are I'm playing terrible right now. Well spaced out, maybe. <laughs> oh, you've got... Oh, yeah, the bum chin. Oh, yeah, yeah. that yeah, John Travolta and myself. Peter Griffin. Here we go. Two, oh. There you go. Peter <laughs> Hole in one on the chin. Why don't we just play to his chin then, this hole? We could put that one. Okay. That's, that is an exact replica. I thought that was a pretty good likeness. Yeah. And now I'm going to hit him right in the face off of the tea box. Oh, that's fair. That's good. Yeah. Time to play the third and final hole brought to you by SP Coring. SP Coring. Let's see it. We might get a little plug for the pile driving company too. And the sucker goes. I can't tell you how many times I would like to whack Strouds in the face. This is <clears throat> for all the fans out there. This is for them right here of the show that wanted to hit Strudwack in the face. This is for them. A lot of people tried. <laughs> By the scars, it looks like a few were successful. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa! Far right. Hmm. I think it's definitely playable, but it's yeah. definitely not fairway. Okay, well, I gotta get back in this pig here. Or in it in general. Yeah, well, just I started. Back in it is really generous. I started in it. Just put your beautifully bronzed legs <laughs> into it, why don't you? Oh boy, that's going left. Is that gonna find another bunker? That's gonna find a pool in that guy's yard. No, no just down. So... You hit a tree. We're gonna have to see. You I think that might be in a bunker. bunker. Jeez. No. Middle's open. It is. Boring golf though. I'm sure it's probably still going to be after the shot, too. Yeah. Oh, good one. I think the middle is now full. Oh, good shot. Right to the 150s. Are you going for this one? Sir? No, no, I'm not. I'm, I had a, sometimes you gotta know when to pick your battles. He's subliminally being in the sand. I think he wants the sunshine is what he's gonna play. Give it, give it up. Karak. A little bit right. A bit is generous. Oh. Bad bounce. Always takes a bigger bounce when you hit the cart path, doesn't it? Oh, it actually rolled off the cart path and to more towards the hole. Jeez, that's tough. I don't understand women. They wear jackets and skirts. <laughs> no socks. Why are they wearing a jacket if they're wearing a skirt? There's a lot going on. Yeah. Oh, that's not the right direction. A bit right, oh, following their old buddy. Oh, I think I took a chunk out of the you tree. did a little pruning as well. Chip off. Does that look as bad as it feels? Because it feels Everything bad. Everything looks awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That looks pretty big. Might be right. Yeah, that's way right. Huh. Uh, we're all right. We're all right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you, you think you're yeah, that tough guy persona, do a very, very intense job, but you are a, a real artistic guy. You're a big artist as well. Talk about that a little bit. Well, yeah, I don't know. You know, I everybody again asked me, how do you, how do you become a rodeo clown? How do you become an artist? Yeah. I was just a copycat, I think, because I see my brother's rodeo and I, my sister's a fabulous artist. So I just probably wanted attention as the youngest kid in the family and started doodling. Once again, another job I do that I didn't plan on being. <laughs> I don't know my farming terms very well, so you'll have to forgive me for this, but uh, wh what do you got going on on your ranch? How many heads of cattle? Is that heads? Heads? I have, head? I, cattle? Yeah, yeah. How many head of cattle? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. We've got a couple hundred. <laughs> heads of head, state? Yeah, a couple hundred heads on a steak. What, yeah, what does that equate to in yeah. steaks? No, there's a couple hundred. <laughs> we have a couple hundred head. I have a couple hundred head of cattle, and my dad's got a couple hundred, and we raise bucking horses, too, under a company called the Cooper Clan which are with my um, niece and nephews. So uh, so my dad, Jim Cooper, myself, and uh, 
Maggie, Reuben, and Sandy Cooper all own a company called Cooper Clan Bucking Horses. So we got about a hundred and something of those running around. I too. wish I could sound that cool saying bucking horses. Bucking horses. Tell us when you'd like to join us on this hole. Pretty big talk for somebody who's, uh... actually we're tied, aren't we? Yeah, a little bit. You know what, this could be a game changer for me. I might get back into golfing a lot more because I've actually never won anything in golf other than the closest to the car contest. <laughs> <laughs> Going. Bunker. Oh, yeah, no, that's in the sand. A lot of big what? talk there. A lot of big talk. <laughs> that looked really good. Yeah. They actually did not. We can cut that. <laughs> Come on, Meg, join me in the sand. You know you want to. We'll get down while well, it's on. I kind of wanted it to be a bit closer than that. Okay, well, I got to make up for some bad chips here. Oh, my goodness gracious. You would oh, make one hell of a God. cricket player. Could be the champion. It all comes down to the shot, doesn't it? <laughs> that is. That has to make you guys so mad. <laughs> all right, Struds, it's a little chilly out here. I'd like you to stop taking so many shots. I know. Believe me. I thought playing for the Oilers, you'd be better at golf than what you are. Oh. <laughs> Go. Has anybody actually ever made the Happy Gilmore? Reference on the show before. <laughs> Hockey player, golfer, sort of thing. For the win, boys. She gonna make yeah. us? For the win. For the win. I do not right. think she will, but. Oh. Didn't give her a chance. No. I'll give it to her. To tie, to contribute let's to hope, episode eight. Let's, of hope, the golf show. let's hope his short game's better than his long game's been. He's had a lot of time in the sand, though, so. Is he a pressure kind of clown? Oh. You know, are you, can he take the heat? Can he heat, can he heat the heat clown? I have bulls chasing me all day long. <laughs> I don't get rattled. Can I even look at you? Oh! <laughs> you like that? <laughs> That was pretty oh, impressive. Yeah. How hopeful were you on that wow. one? I was, uh, was pretty confident. confident. That's, I was <laughs> actually figured I was going to miss it, so I might as well look away so that I didn't look so bad when I missed it. But uh, it turned out pretty good, didn't it? That's maybe the best shot I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunate we didn't have some more holes because I got better ones than that. <laughs> well, we wrap it up with a win, a win, a push. And this. Contributor. And I was literally this just is. a warm body. I was a warm body today. That's it. <laughs> That's all I had. Uh, I was lucky to be alive, actually. Tough weekend. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Let's take a look at the shot of the show brought to you by Ken Morrison of Remax Real Estate. Could be the champion. It all comes down to this shot, doesn't it? <laughs> that is. That has to make you guys so mad. <laughs> Ash, thank you so much for coming out here today on behalf of Century Vision Care and Maui Gym. We got a sweet pair of shades. You can try those on right now. Great. You guys probably should have had a pair of these today too on account of my legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the weather, but the legs for sure. Yeah. Very nice. Good. Thank you so much. We also want to thank Colonial for having us out here. Great day, despite the weather. And thanks to Matthew Vincent for the wonderful tip. Keep in mind that you can catch us every Saturday right here on CTV Edmonton. And if you miss any of our episodes, they are all online at proamgolfshow.ca and you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook as well at proamgolfshow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Oh, I'm going to bring the energy. You wait. Yes. Fuck, this could be a long day. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm high. I should be Highland doing the Highland fling here or something. Because That's why I didn't wear socks, actually, because you don't know where the sock ends and the leg begins. <laughs> Is that a worm? Oh, I was really hoping you'd get girly there and be like, oh my goodness, a worm. <laughs> Don't get girly. <laughs> oh, little girly. Does that make you guys happy now with all the leg comments? <laughs>